Hey coders, I hope you guys are all doing well. Today we're going to start building our shopping app and we're going to do that by leveraging Molten. So Molten provides all of the infrastructure for the e-commerce side of things. So as you can see here, it provides support for inventory, cart, checkout, payments, and it exposes all of that stuff through an API and we can focus on building our app. And all we need to do is make calls to retrieve the list of products, to manage the cart, and all the way to checking out. In this video, I'm going to walk through some of the features that Molten provides. Uh, we're going to take a look at the dashboard where we're going to add the products and configure our store, specify payment gateways and stuff like that. I'm going to give you a brief look at the Molten API. And finally, we're going to look at some sites that are using Molten to power their e-commerce stores. So first off, let's take a look at the features that Molten offers. So as I mentioned, it provides inventory management. It gives you a dashboard, which you're going to see in a second, where you can add all of the product details, the product images, and stuff like that. And because you're building your own front end, and all you have to do is make API calls to manage your cart, you can structure your checkout experience any way you like. And then there's that dashboard, which is called Forge. So through this dashboard, you can view and manage your inventory, your customers, and your orders, and the details of your store. Because Molten stores all of this data from your product information, customer information, and your store details, you can build e-commerce apps on any platform and simply use API calls to retrieve that data. So as you can see here from this photo, you can build a web app, you can build a tablet, phone app. All of them are working with the same backend system and you can view all of that stuff through your dashboard. So let's take a look at that dashboard right now. So I've got my store here, which is pretty much a brand new empty store. So on the first screen, this overview, you can see your inventory, your orders, how much revenue you've made and stuff like that. This is where you're going to customize your inventory. You can specify categories, products, and all the stuff you would expect from managing your store's inventory. Second of all, you've got your customers. And you can see right now I don't have any. <laughs> orders, same thing. Uh, but this is where it gets interesting. You can specify your shipping rules your taxes, your currencies, and here they support over 50 different gateways which you can add. So by setting up your payment gateway here, when you create your iPhone app or your web app or anything like that, you can just use an API call, send those credit card details over to Molten, and it can get processed by the payment gateways that you specify here. So all of the data that you configure here, all of the products you add in your inventory, all of these transactions and stuff like that are available through the API. And for our demo app, we're going to be adding some products to the inventory so that we can use this API here to retrieve those products and display it in our iPhone app. So you can see here there are some calls. For example, you can get products by ID or by criteria. Uh, you can even create products. You can update and delete products. So the API provides a lot of flexibility to interact with your store. There are calls to work with products. There are calls to do checkout, to manage your cart, working with your customers, and so on and so forth. So in the demo app, you're going to see a little bit of all of these calls. So the main benefit I see from using Molten is that it does all of the heavy lifting for you on the e-commerce side. So you don't have to worry about writing code to manage a cart, writing code to interact with a payment gateway or anything like that. You have this nice dashboard which you, you can customize all of that stuff and then you get this nice API to work with all of your data. And what's more, if you're building apps on multiple platforms like a web app, a mobile app, let's say an Android app and all of that stuff, you only need one instance of your Molten backend. You have the same dashboard that you're seeing all of your data and you've got this API which all of those platforms can work with. So to stress that point, I want to show you two examples of sites that are using Molten right now and take a look at how different they are. They're both using Molten but their checkout experiences and their store experiences are completely different. So you can focus on the front end. So for example, this store sells shoes and if I click into this product, you can see that uh, it's a full screen kind of gallery experience. Right? And if I select the size here, and then I add it to the cart, see what happens. So I have this sort of cart slide out. When I hit checkout, I get to a form like this. Now in contrast, take a look at this one, which is also powered by Molten. And let's say I want to buy a jacket. 
I'm going to select the size, uh, add to cart, and I'm going to check out. And you can see that this one, this checkout experience is kind of in line on this panel. They're both using Molten, but even the shopping experience and the checkout experiences are very different. The best part of it all is, is that if we go back to the main site here and we look at pricing, they've actually got a free tier and it's free forever as it says here. Uh, you get 30,000 API requests per month. So how much is that? It says here that you can expect to use around three requests per page or in our case doing an iPhone app and maybe uh, per view. So this plan will get us roughly 10,000 views per month, which is pretty nice to start. And presumably, if you're showing products that people can buy, a portion of those people will buy your products and you will be making money. So maybe then you could scale it up and pay the next one $49 a month, which gets you 10 times more API requests and so on and so forth. But it's nice that they have a free tier which you can work with and play around in with no risk whatsoever. For the demo that we're going to do, my primary focus is to show you guys how to set up a store, uh, how to add some products, how to leverage the API to make calls to retrieve your products, retrieve product details, add a product to a cart, and then check out. So I'm not going to be focused on the user experience and the UI. I'm going to leave the front end user experience to you and your imagination. So in our demo, we're going to be just leveraging basic labels, table views image views and stuff like that. But I hope that once you see how easy it is to work with the API and set up your store, you're going to be able to integrate it into your own shopping app. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to get started by setting up our Xcode project. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>